Hello everybody, this is Mika Seppälä. In this video I discuss absolute convergence of series. The series summation k from 1 to the infinity a k is said to converge absolutely if the series formed by the absolute values of the terms of the original series converges. That is if the series summation k from 1 to the infinity absolute value of a k converges. Observe that if all the terms a k are non-negative, then their absolute values are the terms themselves. And in that case, the series summation k from 1 to the infinity a k converges absolutely if and only if it converges in the ordinary sense. The alternating harmonic series, summation k from 1 to the infinity, negative 1 to the power k plus 1 divided by k, that is the sum 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth and so on, converges by the alternating series test. But this series does not converge absolutely because the harmonic series diverges and the harmonic series is the one formed by the absolute values of the terms of this alternating harmonic series. The condition of being absolutely convergent for a series is stronger than that of normal convergence. We have the following theorem. The series S equals summation k from 1 to the infinity a k converges if it converges absolutely. So we assume that the series S summation k from 1 to the infinity a k converges absolutely. We have to show that it converges. To that end, consider the quantities bk, defined by setting bk equals ak plus the absolute value of ak. Observe that each bk is by definition non-negative and at most two times absolute value of ak. This follows since by definition either bk equals zero or it equals two times the absolute value of ak. And this is true for all k. Now we assume that the series summation k from 1 to the infinity a k converges absolutely. This means that the series formed by the terms absolute value of a k converges in the normal sense. Therefore, also the series formed by the terms 2 times the absolute value of a k converges. And this means that the comparison test implies that the series summation k from 1 to the infinity bk converges because the series summation k from 1 to the infinity 2 times absolute value of a k converges. And then we simply observe that a k equals bk minus the absolute value of a k. Thus, summation k from 1 to the infinity a k equals summation k from 1 to the infinity b k minus summation k from 1 to the infinity the absolute value of a k. We have now shown that the series summation k from 1 to the infinity b k converges and we have assumed that the series summation k from 1 to the infinity the absolute value of a k converges so does also their difference and their difference is the series summation k from 1 to the infinity a k. Therefore, that series converges. To summarize, we say that a series summation k from 1 to the infinity a k converges absolutely if the series formed by the absolute values of the terms a k converges. And now a series converges in the normal sense if it converges absolutely, but not the other way around. There are series that do converge in the normal sense, but do not converge absolutely. The alternating harmonic series is an example of such a situation.